Hey there YouTube, Travis here. So, I had a couple requests for a video like this, and uh, this is going to be a part one of two video about moped tires. Part one is going to talk about a couple brands I like, as well as a few things I've learned along the way. Well, part two is just going to be a straight tutorial how to change a tire if you already have one. So if you'd like to jump to that, I'll put a link in the video description for you. But anyway, I'd like to share with you a few things that, uh, that I've definitely learned, and uh, hopefully this will help you out if you're getting started with mopeds and you need new tires. So I'd like to start this video out by saying that you wouldn't drive a car with 30 year old tires and you should not, definitely not be, driving a moped with 30 year old tires. This is the rear tire off the 77 Maxi N and as you can see this thing is really dry rotted and uh, I wouldn't ride this anywhere, I wouldn't take this out of the driveway. Um, my buddy Ben, I'll show you his Columbia commuter here in a minute which we just put new tires on. Uh, he was about six miles out and uh, his tires looked just like this and he thought they'd be okay because the tube still held air and all that but uh, his rear tire blew and thank goodness he didn't have a serious accident. So that being said you definitely want to change your tube when you go to buy new tires. It was a little confusing to me at first but when I'm on treats looking at tubes they size them um, between two sizes. So for example I'm buying a 2.25 inch tire I'm, so therefore I would pick a tube that is 2.25 inch to 2.5 inch and uh, I've been doing that for all my tubes and they've been working out great. Okay so with that talk out of the way I'd like to start off here with my favorite tire. Absolutely my favorite tire. This is the Michelin Gazelle. Okay so it's definitely my favorite tire but there's a couple things to keep in mind if you're going to choose this tire. The Gazelle is very heavy, very tough, and very cheap. Keep that in mind, um, this is the only tire that neither me nor any of my friends were able to put on the rim. Uh, we actually, I actually had to take this to a bicycle shop and they mounted them for me. Love the tire so much, um, just very difficult to get on. If you go through Moped Army, people have all kinds of different techniques to get them on. Some people bake them in their oven for a short amount of time or put them in the sun. People use dish soap. Uh, it's kind of an interesting read. And as you can see by the front, it's got a particular tread pattern. There's an arrow on the side which indicates which way uh, the tire needs to turn. Also noteworthy that while the Gazelles did clear the stock swing arm, at one point I had a tiny little dent in that swing arm. It was only like a millimeter clearance on each side. And that was enough to make them start rubbing. So now I have the robot swing arm for the rear and I love it. So some miscellaneous things, I also, I did notice a very slight speed loss, it was between 1 to 2 miles an hour um, after I put the gazelles on without changing any other, any other things in my setup. Um, I mean, that wasn't a big deal for me, but uh, well, just because of the rotational weight of this tire. Once again, I mean, I've seen pictures on the internet of people driven over nails stuck in these things and they're just fine. Uh, I recommend this tire, but like I said, it's got some things you need to keep in mind. Also, those of you who are uh, familiar with the Pook Maxis will understand that this is not my original fender. If you follow my video series about this particular bike, you'll remember when I had this put on. But uh, this fender would have come on like some higher end Maxi Luxes, some Maxi 2s, um, this nice front chrome fender here. Uh, there is some issues with the Gazelle because of how wide it is. But I'll get more into fenders here in a little bit later in the video. So here's my friend's commuter, this bone stock commuter where he had that rear blowout. Now the tire we picked for this is probably my second favorite tire. This is the Golden Boy tire. I believe it's from Shinko. They're based out of Korea. But uh, this tire we were able to put on though it was quite tough. Um, maybe a step down from the Gazelle. I like the pattern on it. Uh, I like how it feels. This is a great little tire and uh, it wasn't too expensive either. I was quite fortunate when I bought the General that it came with brand new tires put on it already. This one came with IRC tires and uh, I really like these tires as well. They've got a great tread pattern here and uh, they seem like a, they just feel like a nice quality tire and they've got a great ride. My other friend's Tomos right here, he has Sava tires on the front. Let me see if I can get it there. And uh, these have kind of like a more slick front to him, but he really likes these tires. They work for him. They seem of good quality. My buddy Nate on his Gorelli, he has the White Wall Savas. They're one of the few companies where you can get White Wall tires, and he really likes those as well. Um, now those are 16 inch. That seems to be a trend among Italian bikes, is they use 16 inch rims, and then 
pretty much everything else I've seen pooped to most sacks. Um, I'll have 17s. And finally, here's the Maxi N. When you watch part two, you'll get to see the tires for this being installed, or at least one of them. And uh, I elected to go for a tire that, when people commented on the reviews, they said it was a skinnier tire. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Now, these are from Hutchinson. And uh, they have a tread pattern very similar to the tires that came on these bikes. And um, these ones are the Turbo tires, 2.25 inch by 17. And I wanted to make sure I could get one that was skinny. Uh, for the most part, you're going to have a lot of trouble finding tires that are 2 inch, 2 inch by 17, especially for these pooks. They're just not out there. But uh, for the most part, 2.25 will work unless you've got something really wide like a Gazelle in which you'll need to make some modifications. Now these tires did fit, and when I first put them on they were rubbing the fender, but that's only because the fender was a little bit bent, so I bent that back by hand. But uh, I want to be really careful that I bought a skinny 2.25 uh, inch tire, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's got to do with this front fender here. Let me show you a quick comparison. So, Okay, so for a quick comparison, if you happen to have one of the gray fenders that isn't painted, it's just this gray fender here, these two metal bits here that come down that uh, bolt into the down tubes. Notice how that's pretty much straight the whole way down. That makes it a little bit tough to run tires that uh, can be on the thick side. If you're lucky enough to have one of the painted front fenders like this, notice how it's got uh, those little indents made out there so you can ride the wider tires a little bit easier. And the Hutchinson's just a uh, cheap tire. I wanted to throw something on here. I'm not going to kit this bike or do anything crazy with it. Uh, for all I know, the IRCs or many of these other brands could have fit, but uh, these ones definitely did. And uh, this is going to be a simple around the town cruiser, so they'll work great. Also, keep in mind there are other places to get tires besides Treats and 77 mopeds. You might be able to find a better deal. I do encourage you to shop around. Uh, I will say I have utilized the uh, free shipping over $150 uh, ability that 77 as of this video currently offers um, when I got my gazelles that uh, was a big savings right there and I truly have tried to source tires and tubes locally but the prices just haven't been anything close to what I found online so I'm generally someone who recommends using the right tool for the job it makes things a lot easier that's why I have these plastic tire changing levers right here they've been helpful to me as you'll see in the video the actual tire changing I invite my friend over his technique is so much better than mine he's changed countless bicycle tires and car tires and uh, he likes to use butter knives and uh, he's just gotten used to that uh, if you have a more ornate butter knife like this one it's going to lessen the chances of you popping your tube that's the real reason uh, I'd rather see you guys using tire levers but you know what his technique worked and he was really helpful and I know that uh, not all of my viewers have access be it financially or they're just not in an area where they can get access to tire changing tools so I'm kind of glad he showed that technique. I know I'm going to catch some flack for it, though. Alright, YouTube. Well, that's all I have to say about tires. Until next time.